So we got this room here uh, in our office, and actually, originally I thought of maybe turning it into uh, a gallery area to display the paintings, but I've now changed my mind. So what I'm thinking of doing is having uh, an area where I can film videos, um, take photographs of the paintings, things like that. So it's just a better use of space. We have our green screen there so that we can put any background we want um, behind the paintings, things like that. It's just going to make it a lot easier for us because I've been photographing the paintings in a really tight space in the studio. So anyway, that's what's going on in here. Let's go back down to the studio uh, and I'll show you what I've been working on. So, uh, this is basically what we're going to be contending with today. As you can see, I've already pretty much completed the trees either side. Might need to do a little bit of work to those a bit later on. But this area here is just in its blocked in stage. So all of the other trees would have looked like this um, a couple of days ago. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and make that look something like that. Um, we don't need to make it look identical. This isn't a hyper-realism. This is, uh, I suppose you should say, more photo-realism. Um, but this painting is for um, a gallery in the UK. Um, it's gonna take me another couple of weeks to get it finished. There's a lot to do down here as well. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's actually start working on this. So, block in. Next stage is to add the dark elements. So what I'm gonna do now is darken this area and I'm gonna use probably two brushes here. We have the tree and texture brush, which is a rough brush um, used to add texture to trees well, and other things. But we also have a new brush in the collection, which is its younger brother here, the smaller tree and texture brush, which is gonna be ideal for getting the outside edges. So using just a dark glaze, just gonna go over the majority of the tree adding this darker tone. Okay, so we've added some textures to the main body of that tree. What I'm going to do now is just use the smaller tree and texture brush just to get some texture on the outer limbs of the tree. So it's the same um, technique, same colors, just smaller brush marks. So there we are, ready to start the next stage. So as you can see, we had the block in, we've now added the darker tones, and that's given us now um, the texture that we need. So we have two levels. We have the very darks, and we have the sort of block in that we can still see through this darker layer. So we have two levels. We're now going to add um, some more details, some of the leaves themselves now. And we are going to do that mainly with a rigger brush, and we also have a new brush to the collection. It's part of the Series 2 brushes, but it's a much, much smaller brush. It's the uh, 2 slash 0. So I'm going to use the rigger brush to begin with, and I'm going to start adding the mid-green for the outer leaves. So I'm just adjusting the size and the general shape of each brush stroke. So the important thing with this is that we really pay attention to where these leaves are in the 
reference photograph. And that's why it's important to have a reference photograph. Otherwise you tend to get a little bit too, um, too much of a pattern going um, and it stops looking random. This is important that these leaves are you know, as random as possible, not only in size, but in shape and placement. Okay, right, so that's the first layer of leaves on there. We do need to increase the amount of leaves and certainly um, add some lighter colours to that. But before we do that, it's quite a solid tree now. We need to put some gaps in, certainly around this area of sky here. So we're going to introduce some of this blue into the tree. We're going to continue with the same brush. The, this is the skinnier rigger brush, the series one, size five zero. This is a, once again, this is a new brush uh, in our collection uh, and it's much skinnier and longer than the other series ones. There's two of these sizes, one's a little bit uh, skinnier than this. Okay, so as you can see, I've introduced some gaps in the tree. What I'm going to do now is just extend some of the tree into the sky again. Um, find that it's just still a little bit too regular, so I'm just going to sort that out now. Um, going in with a slightly lighter colour as well. This is almost like a, a warm grey than anything else. You often find the outer leaves, certainly when you're looking at a photograph, are a slightly different colour. To do this, I'm using the Series 2, size 2.0. Once again, this is a newer brush in the uh, collection. These can be found on my website, and the link will be in the description below. Okay, so back now to adding some uh, some more, some lighter leaves. You don't need to go too light because we want it to stay separate from this tree behind, but I'm also gonna do some blossom on this tree here. So now I am just adding the blossom. So using the same rigger brush, the series one size five zero, and I have just added a little bit of linseed oil to the paint just to allow that to sit on top of this wet paint well. And then we're just gonna do little dots for the uh, blossom that's sitting on this tree here. 